I would certainly like to take in the city of Balmora a bit more before I go rushing off to track down the Ashlanders and their lands. Perhaps a visit to the Rendinetch Inn would serve me right. Something smooth and revitalizing. After all, cutting down cultists isn't exactly how I foresaw this visit to unfold, especially since I was just here to gather some information. Still, I did get my hands on details which hopefully Archken and Tarvis will find useful. I can't believe they want us to go outside the house to find Vea. Good day. You look troubled. Something on your mind. You look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vea? She went missing a couple of weeks ago and her father desperately seeks any information regarding her whereabouts. Hmm. I have been in the area for the past day or so. But I haven't met or seen anyone named Vea. Just a spooked crew chief by the name of Handulf. That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. I am no stranger to heroics. Perhaps if you spare any further details, I might be able to keep an eye out for her. You should speak to counselor Eris. He's opened the kin house to interview potential recruits. Freelancers, as it were. If you're interested, go speak to the counselor. The longer Vea remains missing, the more distressed Counselor Eris becomes. Very well. I will go and meet with him and see what more he will be able to provide me. Counselor Eris can be found at the Redoran kin house, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vea. If he finds that an outsider can succeed where the house guard has failed, so be it. Worded very brash. You seem as if you and the counselor don't see eye to eye on the matter. I have no issue with Counselor Eris seeking help. It's where he's decided to get that help that concerns me. House Redoran doesn't need outsiders to take care of its business. But who am I to question the house counselor? Before I meet with the counselor, could you tell me a bit more about him? Councillor Eris Relith oversees Redoran operations in Balmora and the surrounding countryside. He's very influential, very powerful. Usually, the Councillor doesn't allow his passions to get the better of him. But Vea is his daughter, after all. A bond between father and child is usually quite strong, and is known to take precedence over many situations, regardless of how dire they may be. What about Vea? How is it that she has found herself missing? If I knew what happened to the Counselor's daughter, I wouldn't be talking to you now, would I? As far as we can tell, she left with her own accord. There wasn't any foul play involved that we're aware of. Beyond that, you'd have to ask the Counselor. I have taken enough of your time. Thank you for the information you've given. I'll head to see the Counselor now. There. I can see the crest of House Redoran hanging on that wall over there. That might be where the kin house is. If only this damned storm would go away. I guess I will have to postpone my visit for a drink at the end for a moment. At least until I talk with this Counselor Eris about his daughter. I can imagine his worry is great. No father should ever feel the fear of a child gone missing. I will probably find the councilman upstairs. Then I can inform him of my assistance in the matter of Vea. A 
anything I can do for you? Not exactly. I'm here to see Councillor Eris. Councillor Eris, I presume? Yes. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? On the contrary. It's more of something I can do for you. My name is Drellis. Pleasure to meet you. I spoke with Sergeant Faldris near the gate of Balmora, and he informed me that you were in need of someone to help locate your daughter who is missing. My daughter has been gone too long and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this task? Tell me, Outlander, how can you succeed when my forces continue to fail time and time again? Well, if I were to fancy a wager, I believe your daughter is actively trying to avoid being found. Being of high ranking in the city, she knows every mer employed under you, which probably helps her avoid being detected. What you need is someone she doesn't know. That is where I come in. An interesting insight. Perhaps you can find my daughter. Vea can handle herself, but the father worries, you understand? Anyway, I agree with your assessment. That's why I'm willing to bring in outside help on this. Sergeant Faldris wasn't able to provide any details about what had happened prior to Vea's disappearance. Would you mind telling me what happened? Vea fled after a family... disagreement. She's run away before, but I'm concerned that she might have something more permanent in mind this time. And more dangerous. Vea knows how to evade the house guard, but as you said, she doesn't know you. I can see why you would be worried then. Very well. I will take some time to try and track down your daughter. Do you have someone that I might speak with that could loose me in the generally correct direction? Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. You should speak to him and see what his investigation has already turned up. If I may be so bold as to pry, you mentioned Vea might be caught up in something dangerous. You sound as if you already have reached conclusions as to what that might be. Vea has always been fascinated by the Morag Tang. Even admired one of their agents when she was growing up. It's possible she sought refuge with this agent, or even decided to join the organization. Though I hope I am wrong about that. And what is it that you know of them? I have always heard of stories, and know of their existence, but perhaps you know something more? The Morag Tong? They're an ancient guild of assassins sanctioned by the Tribunal to carry out honorable writs of execution. Ostensibly, they're supposed to keep the houses from resorting to all-out war. But I still find the practice... barbaric. Yes. That is what I have read in the past about their purpose. What about this agent, the one that Vea has taken a liking to? Someone of no consequence, and not at all important to accomplishing your mission. Besides, you don't find Morag Tong agents, they find you. Just pray it's not because your name wound up on one of their writs. That is a death sentence. Luckily, my name has well avoided their parchments. And I'd like to keep it that way, if I'm honest. As for Captain Briven, whereabouts might I find him? Is he here in Balmora? He's probably patrolling the town square at this time of day. Briven's soldiers have been trying to get information out of Vea's friends. But those young men and women are almost as good at avoiding the house guard as my daughter. Understood. I'll head up to the town square and track down Briven. We keep you, Counselor. I will return once I have found something of importance to share about Vea. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with my husband. We share the same office, after all. Thank you for agreeing to look for our daughter. But know that Vea is headstrong. I say this from experience. I am her mother, after all. You are most welcome. I am pleased to be of assistance. Is there something more you might be able to let me know about Vea that could aid in my search? She stormed out of the house after a heated argument with her father. Nothing unusual in that. But when she didn't return, well, that's when both her father and I started to worry. Sounds to be a pretty big argument for the outcome to be as drastic. 
Her father seemed very shielded with information, so I dared not pry. But if I might ask of you, what was the argument about? Uh, I'd rather not talk about that. It's a private matter concerning the family. The relevant fact remains that my daughter took her most cherished possessions and left home. I'm worried that she's going to do something that can't be undone. Fair enough. I understand some matters are sensitive. Do you have any thoughts on what Vea might be planning? As I said, Vea is headstrong. Confident. Perhaps too confident. She might join the Morag Tong just to spite her father. Or run off to fight in the war. Something reckless along those lines. Please do what you can and find my daughter. You have my word. I will find her. Hopefully before anything irreversible has been done. <sighs> For some who are desperate in finding their daughter, they sure are making it more difficult by withholding information. There. That mur by the canals looks to be searching for someone. Might be our Captain Bribbon. Let's go find out. Good evening, Captain. Not now, Outlander. If you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the House Guard. Actually, I have a need to speak directly with you. I was sent by Councillor Eris to aid in your search for his daughter, Vea. You must be one of the freelancers the council employed to supplement the duties of the House Guard. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Vea ran away. Again. I hope you can succeed where my troops have failed. If anything happens to Vea... I usually have a great read on others. And if I knew any better, I would say that finding Vea extended past your duties as captain, and was more on a personal level. I've known the Relith family since I was a child. Vea is like a sister to me, and I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Even trust an outlander. We think her friends may know where she is, but they keep eluding us. Hmm, yes. That was the same point I brought up to Councillor Eris. You and your guard are very well known to Vea and her friends, so perhaps I will have a better chance at getting close to one of them, in hopes of gathering information. Perhaps. As long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. I think it has something to do with Vea, but the runners keep evading my guards. Look for a group meeting on the other side of town, and see if you can follow the note. I will do my best to follow this note trail. When you find Vea's friends, remember to keep your distance. You just want to spot the note carrier and follow him to whoever's receiving these messages. That's the key to locating Vea. If you can't do it, don't worry. The house can handle it. I have confidence in my abilities. What might be useful is if I knew more about Vea herself. Her mother and father divulged very little, and the more I know about her, the better chance I might have to understand her movements and track her down. Vea's a born warrior. Hard-headed, stubborn, and a real pain in the ass. She can fight like an angry netch, though. I keep trying to get her to join the militia. She always turns me down. Well, that's not surprising. That combination of stubbornness and being hard-headed doesn't sound like it would mix well in a structured militia. Might be she would have trouble taking orders from her captain. It was alluded that she had a disagreement with her father. One far too many, so it seems. Do you know any more about this quarrel of theirs? That's not my tale to tell. If Councillor Eris or his wife won't speak of the troubles his family has had to deal with in recent weeks, 
Maybe you can ask Vea. If and when you find her. Vec! Damn storm. <sighs> very well, very well. And what of this no time following? We started to notice groups of young dark elves gathering in out of the way parts of the city. One of my guards saw them pass a note between them, but they split up and she lost them in the back alleys. Very interesting way of delivering correspondence. Obviously quite effective, you have to hand them that. Any hinkling to what these secret notes might contain? Could be a love poem or a recipe for Kwama cream cocktail. But we suspect it's the way Vea has been keeping tabs on what's been happening in the city. Look, it may amount to nothing, but the note could give us a lead on where to find Vea. That is very true. Regardless of its contents, a trail is a trail. Do not fret, Captain Brennan. I'll see to it that Vea is tracked down. You have my word. By Vivek, these relics and their guards are very tight-lipped about this disagreement, it seems. I wonder why they are unwilling to divulge. Something that might damage their name or status with House Federman? Perhaps even with the other great houses? It is a possibility. No point in pondering too much on the matter. Just need to track down these runner friends of Vea's. Since the guard and her family are primarily on the west side of this canal, I might have a better luck starting my search over on the eastern side of the city. Hmm. Let me try to blend in with the locals over here, and try to scout about from over the top of my flagon. Get this letter to Drevis. It's important. Just don't let House Redoran get their hands on it. Hello, what's this? Better have a closer listen. If you think you're being followed, find a place to hide. Good luck. <sighs> I could use a break. There you are, little runner. Let's just see how evasive you and your friends can be. As long as I keep my distance, I shouldn't cause any suspicion. There. She is putting the note on that fountain. Looks as though another mer is coming up to take it. Very sneaky, this bunch. Now he's handing the note off behind that tree. How many of these runners are there? She's cutting across the canal. Better keep up. Oh, better act casual. And here we are, back at the Randy Netch Inn. Let's get some information out of this friend inside. I could hear Huss conversation coming from upstairs, and I'm pretty sure I just heard mention of Vea's brother. Let's try the silent and stern approach, see if that doesn't pressure them into talking. Hello, can I help you? Wait a moment. You're one of those hirelings House Redoran pays to harass us simple folk. Look, all Vea wants to do is to find out what happened to her brother. Too bad the House doesn't seem to care a sweat about any of that. Listen, all Councillor Ayres expressed to me is the desperation in finding his daughter. And that's all I am after. 
I saw the group of note passes around the city followed one here. And based on what you just told me, am I right to assume that you have the note? Tell me, will it aid in tracking down Vea? Vea wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? Even if I wanted to help, I haven't seen Vea since she snuck out of town. We communicate by notes, and this one isn't even about her. Oh, really? Might I inquire as to the purpose of this particular note, then? If you must know, it concerns Vea's brother. He was an officer in the House Guard before he vanished without a trace. We've been trying to help Vea find him. Vea's brother? Based on what I know about her, I am not shocked at her disappearance, if it were to unearth information about his whereabouts. If you haven't been in contact with Vea since her disappearance, who was this note intended for? A local tough goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. But good luck trying to get any information out of him. Ashur is not known for his conversational skills. Oh, don't you worry. I have found that I can be very persuasive. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vea, just to the north and east, outside of town. Or is this your way of offering to save me a trip since you're headed his way? I most certainly will be paying Ashra a visit here shortly, but you striked my interest and wondered if you wouldn't mind sharing a bit more about Vea's brother. I'm not telling you anything, you reverend lapdog. Now, now, there's no need for belittling. My only intention is to be helpful, in any way I am possible. What fear do you have in telling me about Vea's brother? It couldn't possibly cause any harm. I'm sorry about that. I'm kind of on edge, if you hadn't noticed. Everyone knows Vea's brother. Or they did, before he disappeared. Ulran was an exemplary officer. Everything House Redoran could hope for. Vea won't rest until she learns the truth. The truth? So is there some sort of cover-up that is not coming to light about this disappearance? Is this the basis of Vea's argument with her father? She ran away because her father refused to give her a straight answer. She suspects he was involved in Ulran's disappearance. Or that he at least knows more than he's willing to say. Is it any wonder Vea decided to take matters into her own hands? I see. Vea's mother and father both refused to give any information past Vea's running away. But now I can see there are deep intentions to her actions. Especially if the counselor is keeping information from her. Well, I best go find this Asher. Thank you, Drevis, for being so forthcoming with information. Know that my intentions will always be in the best interest of justice. Three keep you. Alright, to the north and east of town, as Drevis mentioned. I do hope he was being truthful with Asher's location, and not just giving me the runaround like they have been with the house guards. As is always, any time there are issues involving one of the great houses, there always has to be some webbing of secrets trying to be kept hushed, and this time is no different. It does seem a bit odd, this Oran disappearing with no one attempting to find him other than Veya. Why wouldn't Councillor Eris be putting out a search party for his son, as he has for his daughter? Intriguing. You killed one of my gang, Swit. No writ will protect you from us. Feeling left out? I'm sure I can procure a writ for each of you. I better get the jump on these three. That's it! Kill the Morag Tong and any witnesses! I'll just take my leave. No use Heal getting me. my axes bloody again. Are you serious? <laughs> Good, he didn't go off too far. Well, you certainly buggered off when they turned their attention on me. I had that situation under control. Just needed them to make the first hostile move. Still, 
I cleaned enough blood off my axes for one day, so thanks for lending a hand. Perhaps you could repay the favor. I was told that I could find you out here. You were, were you? Was it Melissa? I told her I'd close out my tab after I completed another contract. That woman has the patience of an anxious nix. Well, tell her I'm good for it. I'll stop by and we can conclude our business cordially. No, it wasn't Melissa. On the contrary, I am actually here about Vea. Vea? The new apprentice? Now why in oblivion do you care about Vea? New apprentice? Interesting. Well, as it turns out, I am trying to find her. Are you now? And why do you want to do that? Uh, never mind, I don't really care. I was asked to pass along some notes, but I'm not really the messenger type. I suggest you talk to Vea's mentor. Last I heard, she had a job in the Western Ruins. <sighs> Finally. I will head that way to try and track her mentor down. Make sure you don't anger Vea's mentor, or even look at her the wrong way. She's grown surprisingly protective of that young woman, and if she thinks you pose a danger... Besides, I'd hate to see you wind up on the wrong end of one of our writs. Before I go, I just have to ask, why were those townsfolks attempting to kill you? You know, the usual buyer's remorse. I see a lot of that in my line of work. Turns out, I had to kill a bad man who did bad things. The writ was legal and above board. Unfortunately, his brother didn't see it that way and was looking for revenge. Let me guess. You are of the Moog Tong. An assassin. Oh, you make it sound so obscene. Still, that's pretty much an accurate description. But it's not like I work for the Dark Brotherhood or anything. I don't kill anyone without a sanctioned writ. Keeps the great houses in line. It's a calling. So I have heard and read. I know Councillor Eris is at odds with the practices of your group. Can you tell me more about Vea's mentor, just so I have a better chance of not angering her, as you so put it? I'd rather not. She's particular about her secrets, and I don't want to get on a bad side. You should keep that in mind, too, if you plan to continue on this course. Vea's mentor usually sticks to the rules, but I wouldn't turn my back on her. Good to know. Well, good luck with your sanctioned assassinations. I best be on my way. Arrogant, that one. I'm shocked anyone was able to get him to agree to help. He doesn't seem the type to think about anyone but himself and his coin purse. Still, he did prove helpful in letting me know where to find Vea's mentor, so I am thankful for that. I think I'll make my way past the Shulk Ore Mine and see if I have happened upon these ruins. Just keep on foot. There's no use getting on my horse to run through the marshes. Looks like the crew chief is still waiting about. Wonder if they're planning on opening the mine once more, now that I have ran the cultists out of there. A goblin? How strange. Usually don't see them this close to a city. And an it too. Damned another one. enough of that. Ah, 
There are some ruins over there in the distance. Now to keep an eye out for this mentor. Buffek! Damn Nixox! Nasty beasts! By Vivek. I wonder what happened here? Is this the work of Aya's mentor? She certainly has some skill about her. Wouldn't want to be on the pointed end of her daggers. You there! You are right! No. You look worse for wear. Leave me, Outlander. Let me die in the shame I brought to Malakath. <coughs> Defeated by a lone warrior. Oh, Malakath will laugh at our incompetence. Worshipper of Malakath, are we? Typical of an orc. No good ever comes from the House of Troubles. Surely you must see that now. Who did this? An assassin. Probably a Morog tongue. She tracked our leader here. But she... She doesn't know. We set a trap inside the ruins. Oh. She's just one woman! Get inside the ruins and stop her! Well, looks like I have a need to get inside these ruins before whatever trap they have set gets the best of our assassin. I will need to take out that guard before I can sneak around. more of these Malakath worshippers. I should be able to sneak around here without being noticed. Looks like we got two more down here. I should be able to surprise them. Have my thanks, mage. Let the assassin come. I'm tired of running and she doesn't frighten me. <laughs> For someone who says they're not frightened, I did sense a bit of shakiness in their voice. Well, you're not what I expected to find in a place like this. I could say the same about you, as a matter of fact. You're not a cultist. At least you sure aren't dressed like one. You're walking into a dangerous place, hero. You must be here for a reason. Too right you are. I actually ventured to these ruins to search for someone. Would you- Questions? I don't have time for questions. I have a writ to complete. Look, I can't keep these evil cultists waiting. You wanna talk? Find me after I finish this job. I- Oh, all right. I will come and find you. Of course there had to be ogrims. Come out, little assassin! Or is the Morag Tong too scared to meet the powerful Snag face to face? Is his name really Snag? No wonder he's angry. This assassin might be talented, but everyone has their limits.
down with you, you damned beast. I've come to help. A helping hand? How sweet. Oh, please, don't patronize me. By Malakath's sacred tusks, you won't get past me! What in the Nyx Hound's ass right, is this? Now. Some sort of Daedric levitation? Come down from there, you sweat! Excuse me, hero. I have to see an orc about a writ. Wait! Well, better go on after her. Curious to see how these Moag Tong writs are executed on anyways. Don't kill me. I didn't mean to interfere with House Tolvani's plans. I, I made a mistake. A mistake? Well, that explains everything. I'll just let the Tolvani know. I'm sure Mage Valian will understand. Oh, that's a relief. I thought for sure you were going to kill me. I am. <laughs> uh, I hate when my leathers get wet. And this is a new outfit, too. Ah, oh, well. I suppose we ought to discuss what you're doing here. You aren't the only one. I swear, with as much time as I find myself in the water lately, I really need to find a leather more suitable for getting wet. You're obviously not one of the Malakath cultists, so I have one question. Why the tusk are you following me, and why shouldn't I just kill you and be done with it? Yes, that was two questions, and an orc curse, and a threat. It's been a long day. Would have settled for a Dunmiri insult, but seeing what you're dealing with, I'll take it. As it may, I was actually searching for Veya, Council Eris's daughter. I was told her mentor was doing a job out in these ruins, and I just so happened to... well, happened upon you. Oh, that's not what I expected. But you can just turn around and leave. You're not going to find her. Veya's going through a difficult time right now. And the last thing she needs is some house brethren lackey adding to her pain and confusion. So I am told. Her father expressed how much he wishes for his daughter's return. He just wants to know she is safe. Really? Is that what old man Eris told you? And did he tell you about Vea's brother? About how house brethren exiled their favored son? No? I didn't think so. Vea needs answers and I promise to help her. So walk away while you still can. Honestly, I am simply just trying to help. I was led on about some cover-up about Vea's brother, and have always sided with justice over anything else, regardless of house business. And while I am offering my aid in discovering the truth on this matter, others will surely follow in my stead if I am turned away, as the Council is taking on all forms of outsiders to assist in the matter of bringing Vea home. Outsiders? Is her father really that desperate? Look. Tell Eris that they are safe and you'll see her soon, but no more outsiders. If my organization gets skittish, they'll return to the shadows and take Vea with them. They'll only deal with you. You have my thanks, Naryu. I will relay this to Eris. Do I have your word that you will truly set up a meeting with Vea? Well, it's not exactly a lie, and I don't want things to get out of hand. I'll arrange a meeting, provided Vea agrees. You let Eris know she's safe. Get him to stop hiring freelancers before someone gets hurt. I'll send word when we're ready. Very well. I'll take your word on it. Trust does run both ways. So, the Malakath cultist you just used as a pincushion. I am assuming that he found himself on one of those Morag Tong writs I keep hearing about. That was poetry in motion. Not only is my organization getting choice assignments again, but we're starting to recover some of our prestige. Specifically, these Malakath cultists interfered with House Talvani, so they had to be dealt with. And who was this orc in particular? 
Oh, him? No one special. Just the leader of this particular band of mad cultists. His name was on the writ, so I had to end him. It's what I do, after all, and I do it so well. So it would seem, if judging only by your work here. So, this organization you keep referring to, between the shouts from the cultists, the talk of writs, and the assassinations, am I safe to assume it's the Marg Tong, and not some other group? I suppose if you're in for a sliver, you might as well be in for the log. I'm with the Morog Tong, and what you witnessed was a legal murder. According to my writ, the orc had to die. So, I killed him. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to Vea. Not every day you hear those two words used in accordance with each other. Legal murder. I'm curious, why is it that you care so deeply for Vea? You certainly have her protection in the forefront of your priorities. Vea and I have a history. A brother, too. They were good kids. Like to watch me train. Now I feel responsible for her. When she came to me looking for help and asked to join the Morag Tong, who was I to refuse? That was her decision, not mine. Vey is good with a blade and tracks like a Lord Ranger. She's a natural at this, and it gives me a chance to keep an eye on her. So now I'm her mentor and she's my apprentice. I wouldn't have it any other way. So it seems. I guess I could see the reasoning behind that. Well, let us part ways. I have a counselor to call off. I will be in Balmora when you are ready to find me. That ogre doesn't sound too happy. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Ignore him. Damn cultists, I just want to leave. Oh good, the ocean got bored. Alright, another quick sneak past these worshippers. So if what Naru said is true, there certainly is something at work that is being hushed. What was she said about Vea's brother, Uron? That he was exiled by House Redoran. I wonder what he had done that would have resulted in his exile, and more importantly, why Counselor Eris is working at great lengths to keep it in the shadows. Is it shame? Anger? Regardless, I won't take no for an answer this time. I need to know what Vea is getting herself into if I am to help. These goblins, I swear to Vivek. Handolf, you better get out of here. He is going to get himself into trouble with the house guards if he keeps skulking about the mine before they open it. Alright, straight to the kin house. Time to disappoint Vea's father.
Good day, Councillor Eris. I have returned. I'm surprised to see you back here, but I'm also relieved. Does this mean you have news about my daughter? Is she safe? Is she ready to come home? Well, she certainly is safe, but I don't foresee her returning anytime soon. I managed to track down her mentor. She has joined the Morag Tong. I was assured that there would be a meeting with Vea, however. Vea? Join that cult of assassins? I was afraid she'd do something rash, but what was she thinking? I don't see the Morag Tong as safe, but at least she's still alive, so I suppose that's something. When are we going to meet with my daughter? That's the thing, Counselor. There is no we. They only agreed to meet with me and no one else. I do have to ask, as I feel that it's important to know. What happened to Vea's brother, Ulran? She won't meet with me? No, I suppose she's not ready for that quite yet. As for Vea's brother, that was all the doing of the Redoran Council. I'm not allowed to discuss the details, but he's still alive, if that's what Vea is worried about. It is these secrets that are keeping Vea away. You do know this. Oh, and before I forget, there was a contingency on this meeting proposed that you must no longer hire any outsiders or freelancers to continue the search for Vea. Her mentor, Naru, was quite clear that this will cause the Morag Tong to disappear into the shadows, Vea included. Naru's back in town? She's as stubborn as Vea. Very well. No other outsiders. Although I can't dismiss the mercenaries that Captain Briven employs. House Redoran is my life, as is Vea. I'll do everything in my power to see her home safely. You have Naru's word. Vea is safe. If you truly care for Vea, then I think we have to play by the rules of the Morag Tong for a bit. So I ask that you put your trust in me to handle this. If I am able, I will try to persuade her to meet with you, Counselor. As you say. No other outsiders. But there are rules, Outlander. I must do everything within reason to maintain the honor of House Redoran. Here, your first payment. Soon, however, I'll expect more than just a verbal confirmation of Vea's safety. A pair of house gauntlets? These will serve me well. You have my thanks, Counselor Eris. When next you see her, tell my daughter that I want to talk to her. Vea can set the terms, but I expect her to stop running away when things don't go her way. Of course. I will convey this message to her when I meet with her, if I have the opportunity. But if I am to gain Vea's trust, I must know what exactly you and her argued about before she ran off. Vea has always felt shackled by the rules of House Redoran, hobbled by the many duties and obligations it presses upon its subjects. After the situation involving her brother, she decided she wanted nothing more to do with the house, or with me. Strong-willed. So it was by your adherence and strictness to the obligation and rules set by House Redoran that caused your relationship with Vea to drift. That may be an oversimplification, but I suppose your statement is accurate. I walk a narrow path between House Counselor and Loving Father. Unfortunately, the former often supersedes the latter. That's why I want to speak to Vea again. I can imagine. I have a tendency to not see eye to eye with my father either, due to his duties to the house, so I do sympathize with your daughter. Nevertheless, I will do whatever I can to arrange a meeting between you two. Just have faith and patience. I will take my leave, Counselor. Three keep you. What a mess. I very much dislike involving myself in the issues between father and child, as it has a tendency to reflect upon my own arguments with my father. I understand the hard place Eris might find himself in, but to not keep Vea in the know about family. Truly is the downfall of House Redoran and all who serve them 